Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a USB device to transfer and import music, videos, or images, or even sound effects to Share Factory on your PlayStation 5. And this is actually really easy to do, but it takes a little bit to get set up. So let's go to play game right here. And then on the top, if we want to use custom imports, we need to go to the toolbox right here, and then go to music, videos, images, or sound effects. Now each of these categories you're going to have to set up a little bit different with your folder. So let's select music. Now when we're in here, if we have something that's available on our USB device, we should be able to select it and then import it from here. But if we don't see anything, we could be setting this up wrong. So just press X and it says, please insert a USB drive into an open USB port in order to load music tracks. Music will be imported from the, you need to go to your USB device on a computer, and then inside this USB device, you need to make a share factory folder, just like that. Then inside the share factory folder, you need to make a music folder, and then put all your music tracks into that specific folder. So it needs to be set up just like this, otherwise it may not uh, be found by your PlayStation. Then when we back up, and maybe we got like videos. Now if we go into here, I have some imported videos over already. So it looks like I just copied stuff over from my PlayStation 5 and then imported them back on. But if we go to import from USB device, you can see you need to make a share factory folder. And then inside the share factory folder, you need to make a videos folder and then put all your video clips inside that one specific folder. So if you put them into the music folder, they may not show up. You need to make them and put them into the videos folder. And this will be the same thing for images. So I have a bunch of images I copied over. You need to go to share factory and then inside the share factory folder, make an images folder and put them all in there. And then the same thing for sound effects right here. So if I select this share factory and then copy this exactly how it is. So it says sounds and then folder right here. So you should be able to go ahead and uh, import everything over once you go ahead and do that. So it says images. All right, so we got to put it in that folder and you should be good to go. And then when you're in the actual editor, you can go to it and you should be able to find the music thing. So if I press like X, if I go to, um, let's go to add music, it should display under here if we keep on scrolling down. Otherwise we can go to import from USB I don't have anything in there. So it would show up though. If I go to add clips, let's go to that. I believe I had some clips. So I can go to like by categories, um, exported videos, imported videos right here. So I have two of them that are imported. I can easily select them and add them to my timeline now. So that is how you can easily import stuff from a USB device from your computer over to your PS5 for Share Factory. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six tech.